A recently discovered virus, known as XMRV for short, has been associated with two very different medical conditions. We've identified a new family of human retroviruses known as the gamma retroviruses, of which XMRV is the first to be isolated, which we did last year. And those are implicated now in chronic fatigue syndrome, a neurological disease, as well as the original discovery implicated them as playing a role in prostate cancer. That's Judy Mikovits research director at the University of Nevada, Reno's Whitmore-Peterson Institute for Neuroimmune Disease. She explains that this human retrovirus, only the third such virus so far identified, seems to amplify the effects of disease. She adds that it may also come to be used as a biological marker for the early identification of those men most at risk for aggressive prostate cancers. The virus is present in the most aggressive types of prostate cancer. Right now, we take a watch and wait attitude because we don't know in which person the cancer is going to kill them and in which it's going to be controlled by the immune system. But if this is a biomarker of the most aggressive cancer, then we can have a better treatment protocol, save millions of dollars for public health in not treating people who don't need treatment as early and really change the way we treat prostate cancer. Mikovic says that other studies have found a strong correlation between XMRV and chronic fatigue syndrome. Over 70% in patients with the syndrome, compared with less than 4% in healthy individuals. We have associated XMRV with a significant portion of a cohort throughout America, and the group of Dr. Lowe and Alter at the FDA and NIH confirmed that on the East Coast. There have been several groups also in Spain, Norway, and Belgium, where we have identified the virus, very high numbers of chronic fatigue syndrome. The two other known human retroviruses are HIV and HD. LV, which has been tied to some forms of leukemia. But Mikovic says their origins remain unknown. We don't know where any of the human retroviruses come from. So we've been studying them now a hundred years. There are quite a few of them in nature in, in all animals. The human retroviruses, nobody knows how they got into the human population from another animal. Recent studies suggest that 4% or more of all Americans may be infected by the retrovirus, which is called that because it reverses a section of DNA. Mikovic says those carriers can be identified through a series of tests. We don't know where inside the body right now is the major reservoir of the virus, where it's hiding. So we test by culturing the virus out of every patient's blood. We also look for the immune response. So if you're making the antibodies to the retrovirus, then you are infected with the retrovirus. But when there is a positive test, she adds, the infection is there to stay. The DNA of the virus is integrated into your cells for the life of those cells. So it is a lifelong infection. Because XMRV was only recently identified and isolated, its possible effects and associations are quite controversial and are only beginning to be studied. New areas of inquiry include possible associations with Lyme disease, breast cancer, and other cancers. I'm Bruce Robinson for KRCB.